Welcome to another Remotion tutorial. Today, we go fast. And they are off, ladies and gentlemen. We are underway. Coming into turn four, that's Berg on the inside. Beautiful overtake. And back to the back straight. Once again, turn four, it's a dangerous corner. Oh, and the red Ferrari, number 11, spins out. He's in the gravel. Oh, sad faces for number 11. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replay. There's the spin, and bam, he just has nowhere to go. You hate to see that. That is going to hurt his championship chances for sure. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to recreate the F1 Stinger transition from the 2021 season only using web technologies and you'll be able to parameterize anything. The colors, the driver picture, as well as the name and number so that you'll be able to put yourself into F1 as well as all of your friends. We are going to use React.js and Remotion which is my own framework for making videos programmatically. The whole source code is in the description which you can check out or if you want to follow the tutorial step by step, you can create a new project using npm init video, just run that in your terminal and then let's get started. Let's start off with the background. I create a React component that renders a radial gradient which lightens up the center a bit because a lot of energy is coming to come out of the center of the animation. Next I mounted a canvas element, get its context and start drawing some lines starting from the center to the edge. We duplicate that line a bunch of times and move the endpoint in a circular motion. To learn how to do that, check out this short on YouTube. Let's only fill out around one sixth of the circle. Then rotate it so that the strobes point to the right then mirror them so that the strobe lights come out symmetrically from both sides. The brightness of the strobes change over time to create a gradient. And I achieved this by modifying the opacity using some simplex noise. Using a spring animation I animated the radius from zero to filling the screen and increased the angle over time to create a more explosive effect. I reused the same component to create variants of the same effect. For example, I overlaid some white rays that are actually very long triangles. I also added some sparks, which are much shorter and less bright, but constantly move. This makes the animation feel much more alive. When putting together all the layers, this is how it looks. I also recreated the exact same animation using React Native Skia, and it somehow looks a bit better since the gradients are smoother. However, the render performance is a bit slower. I couldn't decide which way was better, so I left both of the variants in the GitHub repository. Let's continue with the foreground. The driver is an image that increases its scale slowly. For the number, I loaded the Formula 1 font and used OpenType.js to convert it into an SVG path. I added a silver stroke and an angled SVG linear gradient as a fill that slowly moves its color stops over time to become more opaque. To add that little bit of extra, I added a second stroke which is dashed using stroke dash array and animated using stroke dash offset. For the first name, I rendered the text using the Formula 1 font and made each character fade in, with a random delay for each character. The last name is done in similar fashion, with strokes appearing first after a random delay and flashing the character for one frame before the font completely turns white using a triangular entrance transition. Let's talk about that triangular transition. It is being used for the entrance and exit of the animation and for individual elements such as the driver. I created a high order React component that accepts some children and added the CSS clip path property to it. It references a sibling element which is an SVG that contains a clip path element. We define the viewbox of that SVG as one by one, which makes the math a lot easier. We can now create a path that includes three points. The top left corner of the video, a point that animates from zero to two horizontally, and one that animates from zero to two vertically. It results in the 1x1 square being filled out when the animation ends 
and even though the viewbox is one by one, the SVG can be stretched to any dimensions. For the exit animation, it is pretty much the same thing, just in the reverse. Some elements appear and disappear in two phases. First, the opacity gets halved while just a few frames after, the element disappears completely. By duplicating an element and layering on top of each other, while delaying the transition of one element a bit, we can easily achieve this effect. And that is it! To create complex animations, we need to break them down into single elements and tackle them bit by bit. And what better way to do that than to use React components? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.